As early as the 1950s, a number of renowned Chinese scientists pointed out that the existence and development of the polar regions were closely related to China, which is a major country to be involved in the studies of these areas. Since 1984, China has sent over 5,000 people to the Antarctic, where 32 scientific expeditions have successfully taken place. Four Chinese Antarctic research stations, the Great Wall, Zhongshan, Kunlun, and Taishan have been successfully established. Through 30 years of intensive field research, the Antarctic-based Chinese scientists have achieved numerous results in their research with significant scientific value. China continues to play an active role in polar affairs. It acceded to the Antarctic Treaty in 1983. From that point on, China has made significant contributions to the protection of the Antarctic environment, as well as the peaceful utilization of the Antarctic. China has done this in the interest of upholding the principles of the Antarctic Treaty and the common interests of the international community. In October 1985, China became a consultative party to the Antarctic Treaty, allowing China to take part in the decision-making process in Antarctic affairs. On November 18, 2014, Chinese President Xi Jinping boarded the research vessel Xuelong, the Snow Dragon, in Hobart, Australia, offering his greetings to the scientists and researchers on board from both China and Australia. In greeting them, Xi Jinping noted, Scientific research in the Antarctic region is of great significance and benefit to the human race, saying China's expeditions have contributed to the peaceful utilization of Antarctic resources. Beijing, as the capital of China, is the country's political and cultural center. As one of China's four great ancient capitals, it has a storied history and continues to have its own unique thriving culture. It's a city that boasts the most UN World Heritage sites in the world. As the capital of six different dynasties, Beijing has given birth to numerous famous historic and cultural sites in the 3,060 years it's been in existence. Beijing is not only an ancient city of vigor and beauty, but it's also one of the most modernized cities in China. Modern buildings fill the skyline, giving Beijing a modern, vibrant look. Beijing has been ranked 8th in a list of the world's best cities for fine food. It's also the hub of traditional Chinese culture. As the only inland city on the list of the world's 15 best shopping cities, Beijing has over 100 large and medium-sized shopping malls. Beijing is a city that welcomes the world. It's hosted numerous international meetings. Beijing, as the host of the 2008 Olympics, has beautiful Olympic venues as well as large conference sites. Modernized facilities, sound security, and convenient transportation makes Beijing ideal to host international meetings. Home to friendly people, a rich history, and some of the most modern facilities in China, Beijing is looking forward to hosting the 40th Antarctic Treaty Consultative Meeting. Beijing welcomes you.